Hey guys, Tana Ashley here, and today I want to talk about eating habits. With everyone being on lockdown, their major concern is I can't stop eating. And I wanted to share some tips and tricks on how you can overcome that. This is how I teach my clients not to mindlessly eat, binge eat, yo-yo diet, anything of that sort. So if you're struggling with that, stay tuned. All right, so this is something that I preach all the time, and it's stop dieting. We will go on these crazy diets that we can only stick to for a few days, and then we get into a binge, and then we try to diet again, and then we binge. So stop with the dieting. We have to switch our mindset on how we look at food. So when you put your mind to, I'm going to diet, a lot of people get too restrictive. And when you're too restrictive, that's what leads to the binges. Make sense? So instead of doing that, look at food for what it truly is. It is a fuel. We need food, we need our carbs, we need a nice, healthy, balanced diet. I always say that, diet, because diet is just an eating habit. It's a, your everyday eating habit. Um, so find something that's balanced, that's easy for you to stick to, that you don't feel super restrictive on that you could stick to for six months and it's truly a lifestyle instead of constantly starting over and battling with yourself because when you do that, you get too restrictive, you do the binges, it takes a toll not only on your confidence but your health too. So don't get stuck in that cycle. Make sure you find a nice balance of foods that you really enjoy, that keep you full, that keep you energized and wor work your way to your dream body. It's your lifestyle, that's what it is. And when you want to drop that 20 pounds and actually keep it off, you have to have those habits of picking foods that truly benefit your body. So when you're about to grab something that is unhealthy, like a donut, I love my donuts. Um, <laughs> But when I go to reach for a donut, I have to think, am I craving this? Am I bored? Am I hungry? Am, like, why am I reaching for this food? And Because I used to eat donuts every single day, and then I got high cholesterol. And that was my wake-up call. And I'm like, I can't do this every day. Like, I'm not trying to die before I hit 30. So, <laughs> so I made sure that I broke that habit of eat, mindlessly eating those donuts every single day. And I started eating foods that truly fueled me. And then on the weekends, if I chose to enjoy a donut, I did. I didn't beat myself up about it. I didn't feel ashamed or depressed. It was just a nice, healthy balance. And then I really started dialing it in by paying attention to what foods really made me feel good, which ones made me feel a little bit sluggish. And that's how I was able to just dial things in and make sure that I had something that I could truly stick to. And I was on a cycle of binge eating, yo-yo dieting for six years. So it's not like... I just woke up one day and I'm like, I'm fit. I'm going to be fit for life. It was like, I woke up, my mom dragged me to the gym at the age of 13. She's like, you're going to be healthy. And I'm like, ah, so I was, <laughs> I was skinny my whole life. And then I hit 17 and that's where all the eating disorders came in because I did a fitness competition. I was super restrictive. And so all these body image issues came up and like, I mean, the eating, it was like when you are getting ready for a competition, it is so restrictive that you are brainwashed to believe the only healthy food in this world is eggs, chicken, broccoli, sweet potato, and your oats, which oats don't do well with my body. So I still felt like shit even when I was eating like that. But it's not enough food for your body to truly thrive. So I never felt energetic, even though I was the same weight. I was 108 pounds. I think I'm 110 pounds today. Um, but I felt like crap then. You would talk to me and I'm just like, bleh, I'm giving ice cream. And today I'm like, I'm going to go over to my parents' house and barbecue tonight. We're going to have some cookies and ice cream, okay? Feeling good, happy, energetic. Like, life is good because I have that balance. So that is why it is so important. And I feel like once people actually have control over their eating and their fitness, it really makes every area of life so much better. So that is why I tell people like, just stop restricting yourself and figure out a healthy balance. Figure out what foods are going to be best for you. And when you are emotionally eating, break the habit of your coping mechanism always being food. And I know that's really hard and I'm not a therapist. So like if you really have a hardcore issue, 
go sit down with a therapist. If this is something you need to really overcome, I have great therapist numbers. If you need anyone, let me know. Um, <laughs> so, but honestly, like what I used to do would be, I would binge hard. Like I would honestly go sit alone in a room, get a whole box of donuts, cheeseburgers, ice cream, like whatever I could get my hands on. And I would eat and I'd be so full, but I'd keep eating. And I felt so sick. I felt ashamed. That's where the, the like the depression and all this other crap came up. And um, so now instead of like doing the whole binging and stuff like that, and it would happen when I get like really stressed out or sad. So now when I'm stressed out or sad, I usually try to go be active or I'll meditate. And I just handle my emotions in a better way instead of reaching for food. So, <clears throat> you know, there's like, there's days where life is just stressful. Like I had a day like that this week, but instead of reaching for food, I just did something that made me feel good and that actually benefited my life. Like picking up a book and reading or going and walking my baby and my dogs. And so it really does help. And when you are working on goals and like fixing your little habits or not really fixing your habits, but building new habits, it will benefit your life. So. Go give that a try. If you guys need anything, I'm always here for you. And don't forget, I am doing a free boot camp with tips and tricks just like these, but going a little deeper. And uh, you can get your spot by clicking the link in my bio, which I think is actually up. So, yeah.